On this particular episode, we're going to deal with something quite peculiar, which is called the foreskin restorations. Yes, for men who had their foreskin removed, they are contemplating having it restored. And how do you do it? Let's dwell into this in this episode of Putting Dr. G on the Spot. In countries such as United States, where many men are being circumcised, up to 70 to 80% of men are circumcised, perhaps they'll look back and regret the, uh, the actual operation, or they may suffer from the consequence of complication, such as uh, abnormal scarring, pain, or tight skin due to excessive skin being removed. An organization called NOM, National Organization Restoring Men, are having this movement in order to restore the foreskin and share their experiences on how the foreskin is restored. In fact, they are not the first movement to do that. Surprise, surprise, actually the Roman times, they started doing foreskin restoration. During the Roman times, there are documentations that the emperors actually found the exposure of the glands penis very inappropriate and improper. So as a result, they started this foreskin restoration by traction in order to expand the skin to cover the glands of the penis uh, so that the men, a gentleman, will have covered glands penis. For men who truly have tight penis after excessive skin removal during circumcision or bad scarring due to complication of circumcision, may want to have their foreskin restored. And that can be done by non-surgical manner using traction. Traction is an expansion of the excessive skin of the penis. It can either be done by a hook or by weight in order to expand the skin so that the skin can cover the glands. And that could be quite painful and it's done over many months. And if it's not done carefully, it can even cause injury to the penis itself. On the other hand, the faster way to deal with this is a surgical manner called skin grafting. For skin grafting, we take a patch of skin from another side of the body, hopefully hairless, like especially the back of your ear, and actually patch it onto the glands penis so that you can cover it. With that, it will help to restore the foreskin. So now we look back into the evolutions of foreskin restoration, and we realize that it's just something can benefit for many men who perhaps had bad consequences of circumcision. For the month of May, we are talking about something different. The whole month, we're going to talk about testosterone. So we're going to talk about excessive use of testosterone and whether testosterone is related to virile men and whether too much testosterone will make you more follicularly challenged. So if you are keen to find out or if you're follicularly challenged, meaning bota, and quite like to find out what your testosterone level is, then you know what to do. Stay tuned and carry on putting Dr. G on the spot. <laughs>